interesting. Isn't it? So I hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. As you guys know, it is currently that cozy autumnal Halloweeny time of year and I have got a bunch of books that I really, really want to get to before we go into Christmas. I hate to say the C word. I mean, let's be real, I don't. I love Christmas. Like Christmas is my favorite time of year. However, I want to enjoy the autumn time. I've got a bunch of books here that I would absolutely love to get to before we dive into our Christmas reads. I'm probably not going to read all of these because there are other books that I really want to read as well that aren't in that cozy kind of genre if you know what I mean. Today we're going to go through my autumn slash fall TBR. I am so excited to share these with you so let's go. I hope you guys enjoy and carry on watching. So the first book I really really want to read is Quicksilver by Callie Hart. Now this is mine and my amazing friend Kelsey's book club pick of the month. This is a must read for me. I have never once missed our book club pick and I really really need to read it. So I'm going to be reading this hopefully really soon and I have it downloaded on Kindle. I'm ready to go but something about this is really stressing me out. Like it is a 500 plus page book. It is a chunky boy and I'm just a little bit nervous. I've heard a lot of good and bad things about this book and I feel like I don't know where I'm gonna sit and that is kind of putting me off a little bit but I am really excited. Do I know what this book is about? No. All I know is that this is a fantasy, a romance, it's got so much world building, it's got so much going on. I'm really really excited to read it but I will say I am scared sheerly because of the page count. Like pages scare me. Like if I see a book that's this small I am much more inclined to read it than if I was gonna read a book like the Boys of Tom and series for example because of the pages. It is daunting but yeah this is the first book I'm definitely going to read over the next couple days hopefully. I am excited. Let me know down below. Have you read this book? What did you think? Um, because I'd really love to know and if you guys want to join our book club it is completely free and we do it over on Instagram. We have like a little group chat and it is a great time. So anyway that is the first book I want to read over the next few weeks. The next book I really want to get to is Consider Me by Becca Mack. Now this is not screaming cozy autumnal Halloween kind of vibe. However me and my two friends Becky and Becky we have a little book club where we each take turns. I've told you guys about this before but this was Becky's pick so I really want to read this one as well because we all read it at the same time and it is a really really great time. So that is the next book I want to read. Again do I know what it's about? No. Have I bought the entire series? Yes I have. I just don't have the book with me at the moment. I don't know where I put it. I think it might be at my parents house. So anyway I need to go and get that and read that. But yeah this is the second book that I really want to get to and I'm hoping to read it in October. Stay tuned for the wrap up. Fingers crossed I finish it because that book and Quicksilver quite chunky not gonna lie. Sticking with books which are technically in my October TBR we have got The Only One Left by Riley Sager. Now I love Frieda McFadden, I love Karen and McManus, I love a thriller, I love a mystery, I love Cynthia Murphy, you guys know like she, her books are incredible but I have never read a Riley Sager book and I have got one two, three, four books by Riley Sager and I haven't read a single one. I feel like it is a crime and I feel like this time of year is perfect. So this is the only one left and on the back it says a heart pounding gothic thriller from the master of suspense. Everyone believes that Lenora Hope is a mass murderer. When Hope's family was mur- hang on. Do you know what? One day I will be able to read the back of a book without getting it wrong. When Hope- oh hang on no. Rewind. Start again. <laughs> When the Hope family was massacred decades ago, she was the only one left alive after that tragic night. Mute, paralysed and confined to a wheelchair, Lenora has never been able to tell her side of the story until her new live-in caregiver, Kit, brings her a typewriter. And with one working finger, Lenora begins to type. I want to tell you everything. That sounds so good. I got chills reading that. Like I'm so excited about this one. I didn't even read the back when I picked this for my October TBR so I'm really looking forward to this one and hopefully 
I will read it this month. And the last book that I have on my October TBR is The Things We Leave Unfinished by Rebecca Yaros. Now this one isn't, again, screaming fall, autumn, it's not cosy. This one is probably going to be a very emotional read, to be honest, but I really loved The Last Letter by Rebecca Yaros, and if this is anything like that, I think I will really enjoy it. The back of this one says, when Georgina Stanton discovers that her late grandmother, Scarlett, the infamous romance author, didn't get the chance to finish her last book, she is determined to share her story, but first it needs to be written. Enter Nora Harrison, the best-selling romance author of his generation. No, it says Noah. It doesn't say Nora. <laughs> Rewind again. Enter Noah Harrison, the best-selling romance author of his, of his generation. When Georgia meets him, she is distraught. Although he's charming and handsome, there's nothing beneath the surface. But as they start working together, Georgia begins to see that there might be more to Noah than meets the eye. Together they realise that Scarlett was saving the greatest love story of all until last, her own. While serving in the World War II, she fell in love with the handsome and... Ooh, that's a weird word. Enigma mm, enigmatic? Enigmatic? Pilot Jameson? Anyway, I don't know what that word says. But are Georgia and Noah about to discover that not all love stories have a happy ending? This is going to break my heart in two. I'm reading this now and I'm thinking, oh my god, what's going to happen? Like, so he's going to, like, you know what I mean? Like, he isn't going to make it and I'm really scared to read this book but I think it'll be a really good read um as I said I really love the last letter so this might be a nice like palette cleanser from the spooky reads so yeah this is the next book on my TBR for October so those are the two books that are technically on my October TBR but I have a bunch here that I really want to get to as well as within the months of October and November so the first one we have is If We Were Perfect by Anna Huang I have read books one and two and I'm currently in the middle of book three so I don't really want to read the back in case it spoils it because books one and two were connected and I don't know whether books three and four are connected but I will hold the back up so you guys can have a read if you would like to. Um, I am enjoying the series, I'm not gonna lie. I love Anna Huang and I really loved the Twisted series. Like that, for me, I just absolutely devoured it but these are not as good, I'm not gonna lie. Like I've given most of these a two and a three star. Like I think the first one was a three star, the second one was a two star, the third one I'm currently in the midst of. I'm leaning more towards a three but I don't find these as, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what it is about these. It's not that these are bad, I just love the Twisted series more and I think that is what I'm comparing it to. Um, but yeah, it's a good series, it's a good palette cleanser. I'm listening to them all on audiobook so I'm finding them nice to kind of have one in the background while I'm cleaning and doing things like that. So that is the next book I want to read. If you guys watched my October TBR jar video, you will know that for one of the prompts, it was a four word book. And for some reason, or a four word title, should I say? And for some reason, I read this as a four word title. I think it was because I was going one, two, three, four, but it's actually five words. For some reason, I couldn't count. Um, and that is One of Us is Back by Karen M. McManus. I cannot believe I haven't read this yet because I love Karen M. McManus's writing. I think, to be honest, like, for someone who writes YA mystery and that kind of vibe, like, I really like her. It's not for everyone. Like, my friend Kelsey doesn't really like her writing style, and that is fine, but I really, really enjoy it. I find her just her books are so easy to binge like it usually takes me maybe one to two days to read one of her books so I love it as a nice again a palette cleanser in between like longer books the one of us is back one of us is lying series is so so good I love it so much one of us is lying was one of the first books that I just fell in love with apart from like a good girl's guide to murder which I think truly sparked my reading obsession um this was a close second i absolutely loved it the series on netflix i absolutely love and they cancelled it after season two which to this day i cannot grasp because it was just so incredibly good and i need to know what happens so anyway yeah i haven't read the back i don't want to spoil it i'll hold it up for you guys though if you would love to read the back feel free i'm just really excited about this one so that is the next book on my tbr the next book is one which i picked up months ago at actually scrap that i picked this book up years ago and that is the other ones by fran hart now this book i don't know what it was about this book that made me want it it was probably the cover to be honest i probably saw the cover on instagram or something and just fell in love with it this one says sal hates standing out but he lives in a haunted house and everybody knows it instantly it's screaming halloween like i need to read this book around halloween time his oldest friend dirk tries to help but he wants to stay popular and sal isn't helping Elsa Elsie was popular until recently and now she's on the outcast table too and she doesn't want to talk about it and then there's the new boy Pax who won't leave Sal alone. His idea of a good time is hanging out in graveyards and for some reason Sal can't just stay- 
Hang on. Sal just can't stay away. Meet the other ones. Can they banish their ghosts together? Honestly, I feel like this one is going to be an easy palette cleanser. It's under 300 pages. It's a really fun YA Halloween -y book. I don't really know what else to say about it other than the fact that this just suits this time of year and I feel like even the cover alone like this is a Halloween read 100% so I really would love to read this one this year because otherwise I'm gonna have to wait till next year and then it's been on the TBR for a very long time and I just cannot handle that so hopefully we'll read that one this month one which I've seen a lot on YouTube recently and that is Ready or Not by Cara Bastone or Bastone this one again is giving me that cozy fall autumn vibe I don't know what it is about it is it the cover probably like it kind of is giving me crispy leaves and that kind of vibe it could be a summer read I don't know this one does have a very big blurb however from the front and also from scanning the back this one is an accidental pregnancy story which I've heard a lot of people who don't like accidental pregnancy actually really enjoy this book and also the flop on it it's just immaculate like I am really looking forward to reading this book I've had this one kind of on my radar for a while and I've just been putting it off and putting it off and I feel like do you know what let's pick it up over the next month and get it off the TBR but it looks beautiful I'm really excited and yeah hopefully it gives me that autumnal fall autumn feeling which is what we want next up we have Better Hate Than Never by Chloe Lise I really really enjoyed Two Wrongs Make a Right it was a really good story this is book two in that series to be honest I think the only reason that this one is on my radar for like the fall autumn time again is the cover it is giving me cozy autumnal vibes it's got the leaves it's got that really beautiful beautiful like burnt orangey colour and I love it. This is the back and again I'm probably not going to read the entirety of the back because it is a very long blurb but this one says it's a fiery slow burn that blazes into the loveliest sweetest connection. I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Again I really enjoyed the first one and if I remember correctly the first two characters dealt a lot with like mental health and was it autism? correct me if I'm wrong but I believe one of the characters might have had autism and the other one had something else but what I remember from it was a really beautiful story and it was really well written and I absolutely loved it and it really made you understand those kinds of things as well you sort of got into the brain of people who had that and it kind of worked like it really was just I don't know it was a really good book I really enjoyed it and this is the second one so I'm hoping to get through this one this month as well and I keep saying this month it's the end of October but I mean in the following month. I'm really hoping to read this one soon and again I hope it's as good as the first one because I did really enjoy that one. And last but definitely not least we have My Roommate is a Vampire by Jenna Levine. I have recently picked up the second one in this series. There is going to be a massive book haul coming soon guys. You are not ready. Like I really need to call this one the last one of the year because it is apps. I'm looking at the books now and I don't know where they will come from because it is a lot and I'm so excited to film it. I'm gonna be filming it later today. But yeah, I have the second one in that pile, but I really need to read the first one. Um, and I've had this one again on my TBR for a while and I really want to read it. I love a good vampire book, like don't get me wrong. I've got the entire Twilight series here, which I also really want to read over the next few months. And if I don't, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Um, but Twilight is also on my kind of like upcoming TBR as well. This is giving like a really fun rom com -y vampire story and I'm so excited for it so this is what the cover looks like absolutely beautiful this one says Cassie Greenberg needs a new place to live and fast when she finds an affordable apartment in a beautiful neighborhood she knows there must be a catch obviously the catch is that the roommate's a vampire I'm not gonna read any more I don't want to spoil it but I just love the idea of this story and I'm really hoping for like a little vampire human romance because I'm a twilight girl at heart and I absolutely live for it so that is the last book I want to read and yeah I think to be honest we've got a really good bunch of books here like I've got a really nice mix of autumnal fall cozy Halloween but also a sprinkling of like romance in between and I'm just really looking forward to it so those are all the books very excited. So those are all the books I'm hoping to get through before we dive into our Christmas reads. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I would love to know down below what books are on your radar at the moment. Like what books would you love to read over the next month or so? Because I'd love to know and I love having a chat with you guys in the comments. Also, if you guys haven't yet subscribed, please, please do. We are on our way to 12,000 of you. And honestly, it would be a dream to hit that this year. I really wanted to hit 11,000 and we have surpassed that and I would love to hit 12,000. 
2012 before New Year. So please, if you haven't subscribed, please make the time to do so. Honestly, it's a great time. We have a great time over here. If you love Lush, you love books, it's a great place to be and we just have a really good time over here. So without further ado, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so incredibly much. I'm so grateful for you and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.